Hi everybody. So today we're going to do another experiment called the invisible extinguisher. Now you're going to want to get help with this one because you're going to need to light a candle, okay? So what you're going to need is a small candle and a cup to put it in. So something like this will be good because it's big enough to fit that in there, but it's not too big. Then you're going to need some distilled white vinegar, which is what I have in this jar here. You don't need a whole lot. This is plenty that I have in here. You want to have about a half of a cup in there. Then what you're going to need also is some baking soda. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go and have uh, whoever's helping you light that candle. Okay. So once your candle's lit, you're going to take your baking soda and you're going to put a little bit on a spoon and you're going to start slowly adding it to the vinegar. Just a little bit at a time. You don't want to put too much in there at once because it will end up uh, bubbling over. You don't want to make a mess. So you're just going to put a little bit in there at a time. So that's foaming up. So then what we're going to do is we're going to act like we're pouring it. You see, and you see how I put that candle out? I didn't uh, blow on it or anything like that. What happened is there's actually probably still some in there. We probably do it again. Watch, we'll try it again. See, as soon as I pour the jar toward it, the big jar toward that little one with the candle in it, it goes out. So why does that happen? Well, here's how it works. The baking soda and vinegar reaction results in a gas called carbon dioxide. Uh, carbon dioxide is more dense than normal air, which means that it'll sink. So because CO2 sinks, it stays in the cup instead of floating away like a normal mix of air would. This means that after you make that reaction, you have a cup full of CO2. So the candle burns thanks to a combustion reaction that requires oxygen, uh, which is something that's just in the air around us. Uh, when you pour your cup of CO2 or carbon dioxide into the cup ca containing the candle, the carbon dioxide sinks to the bottom of the cup and it surrounds the candle and it uh, deprives the candle of oxygen. So it puts the fire out. Uh, this displaces all the normally mixed air uh, along with that uh, oxygen that the fire needs to burn. So that's how it puts the candle out. It's a pretty neat experiment. Give it a try. Have fun, everybody.